and giving you organization ideas for your cabinet and also for um, your utensil rack. So yeah guys, I'm going to be showing you that and we're going to be doing uh, the organization part. If you guys, it's a DIY, I'm going to be recycling different sizes of pattern. I'm going to be cutting them up and just hot gluing them according to uh, the shape and size and the weight, according to the weight of uh, the utensils that you're putting on them. So guys, come along with me. I hope you're going to enjoy this and join me in the comment section to know what you think of my organization ideas uh, using patterns and exciting patterns and yeah if you have enjoyed my dear family yes, uh, kindly subscribe right now just go to the subscribe button subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video so this is my kitchen before I even start uh, removing the items this is how it looks I haven't cleaned the utensils, so I'm going to do that uh, shortly. So, yeah, my cooker is also very dirty. I need to clean it as well, so I'll be doing that with you guys. So, what I'm going to start with is uh, removing all those items that are in the cabinets, and then as you can see, there's a lot of grease on the surface, on the outer surface of the cabinet door. So, I'm going to be cleaning inside and outside, and then I'm going to make um, organization uh, items. So what I'm doing here, I'm just picking some cartons that I have and I'm going to be recycling these cartons. I'm going to cut them in different sizes according to how and where I want to place them. So I want uh, one carton for the utensils uh, cabinet and the other one for the spice cabinet. So at least two for the spice cabinet in different uh, measurements and then one big uh, for one big um, for the utensil cabinet because uh, I don't really have a good organization storage at the moment so I'm going to be making this with you guys so you can just uh, check on the video what I'm doing cutting different pieces and just making uh, measurements so that you can get uh, correct measurements for the width and the length and then I'm going to cut through the pieces once I'm done and uh, make the organization part so uh, yeah.
once I finished cutting, I'm showing you how I hot glued them. I already hot glued these ones, uh, so you can do that. And now it's time to remove all the items, as you can see. Clean up the cabinets, uh, and then I'm going to reorganize uh, in a good way. I'm uh, using now the new organization system. So guys, uh, watch until the end, and then I'm going to be relabeling the items, uh, the containers, because I had labeled them last. Uh, late last year but then now i've reused them i've used the bottles for so much i want also to do a new labeling system i'm going to be using vinegar and baking soda uh, this is quite vinegar and baking soda and i'll also be using uh this bottle uh, has dishwash uh, soap so i'm going to be mixing dishwash soap and vinegar and yeah and then now clean the areas i'm going to be cleaning both inside the cabinet and outside the cabinet and then let them dry and now i can be able to do that so right now i've already washed them as you can see they are clean no greases left on the doors and yeah inside is also clean as well i'm just going to let it dry and so the next thing I want to do is wipe the containers first before I even organize them again because they also have some dust. So I'm going to do this. Then the containers that need labeling, I'm going to be using masking tape and a permanent marker and a cutter. Uh, you can also use a, a DIY pen, a marker pen, uh, the ones that are used for labeling or if you have label board stickers then you can use that. So for me, I was just DIY in mine so this is what i'm doing just placing the uh, masking tape in different positions of the uh, bottles so these all these bottles are recycled bottles uh, the glass bottles uh, they have come with different items maybe mayonnaise um, and chocolate and all so i have been recycling them because uh, i want all my spice bottles to be glass so i'm going to be doing this uh, in uh, bits so then I bought these storage containers at Kamukonji each for a hundred shillings and they are so good for storing cereals and also glasses. I've also relabeled them and then the spaces that don't have uh, anywhere else to go I'm just going to be placing them on the spice wrap uh, that I have made later on. So as you can see this one was for soy sauce and now it's a vegetable oil a bottle and for milk and also my salt. So as you can see all my containers right now are um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting, I'm, I want to uh, upgrade and have uh, glass containers. So these are the essentials that I have in the kitchen. So you guys can be able to see what I have. I use clean film a lot. I use um, aluminium foil a lot. I also use these baking sheets a lot. I bought these ones at Carrefour and yeah, and kitchen towels. So that's it for, the, for now. So I'm usually very short, so I'm standing on a chair right now. I'm going to be purchasing maybe a, a ladder sometime, uh, but not now. So what I'm doing here, I'm just making sure I have all the labels and um, the containers that I don't use regularly. I usually put them on the top side of the cabinet and then I'm going now to organize the these are the ones that I use every day so as you can see my cartons are all dry and yeah they have different sizes so I'm just uh, going to be checking on which uh, spaces should go where the spaces that I don't use as much I'm going to place them uh, behind the box and uh, behind the spice rack and then I'm going to be bringing the spaces that I use on a daily basis in front so that they are easy to reach for
circular and I hate a bit heavy. I use this Lizzy Susan. I crochet, I crochet this uh, sometime back. So I'm just going to be placing them on this Lizzy Susan and it's something that I can, uh, I just turn it around and then I can move on to pick whatever item that I need. So yeah, that's another way to do the, your organization. Just use a Lizzy Susan for uh, such buttons. So all my spaces are done. As you can see, I love tropical heat, uh, and that is the lazy season. As you can see, it's moving all around. So you can get yourself a lazy season, or if you know how to crochet, or you can order this on Etsy uh, if you want something like that. So yeah, this is my cabinet, and it's all arranged. So now we're going to go to the utensils and uh, cabinet and do the same. Plates and cups. So what I'm doing right now, I've already used uh, the organization uh, cardboard that I was making before. So as you can see, there are items under it and items uh, above it. So items below and items above. So this is really nice. I really love this, and I'm thinking I'll be making more of this uh, to also uh, get a good organization on this at the end. So yeah, this is what you can do. It's very easy and very inexpensive. You can also bind uh, your carton using papers or just something else if you want. So I bind it mine using uh, the masking tape just to give it an, a good look. So that's it. Uh, then now we need to wash up uh, the cooker. So when I am washing the cooker first, I use the mixture of baking soda and vinegar and dishwash. I'm going to uh, place the liquid, um, the soap on top and leave it for a few minutes, uh, maybe at least 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes. I'm also going to do this inside the oven so that's what I'm doing so that you can remove all the grease. Just uh, first uh, splash and baking soda and then I'm going to come with my liquid uh, soap and that's what I'm doing right now. Then give it a bit, 10 minutes, around 10 minutes and then come wash it. And once it's clean, I'm going to show you guys very easy and you remove all the things. Right now I'm washing this, the uh, basin and uh, the utensils that are in the sink so that I can also put the sink as well and finish up everything about the kitchen. So this is what I'm doing. I first remove all the dirty utensils and all particles that will be in the sink and then continue progress to washing the utensils and place them uh, on my utensil pack. I use tropical uh, dishwashing soap. I also uh, love morning fresh, so I alternate that uh, once in a while.
washing the surfaces I use sunlight soap and uh, the stainless steel so the sunlight soap makes the surfaces really shine uh, once you wash them so that's what I, I, uh, I would advise you to be using uh, when you're scrubbing or washing uh, your surfaces and uh, if you're washing the non-stick surfaces you don't need to use steel wool because uh, steel wool is going to destroy your non-stick so this is just for the steel uh, steel utensils. So I'm going to give it a few minutes then clean it as you can see it's really shiny all my utensils are on the back and we are waiting, are waiting to dry I have these cooking sticks uh, from Tom Konji I really like them and then as you can see my cabinets are all organized I love my spice uh, rack and also the little Susan and how it's organized and clean as you can see as well uh, for the utensils part it's really well organized I love how to have done today uh, as you can see already the cooker is very clean I already cleaned it and now it's dry the oven is as good as new so guys this was a kitchen um, organization and cleaning and I hope you enjoy it and you know in the comment section below you would love this more of this content was mostly uh, recycling uh, as you have seen before, uh, on, on the video I have have had so many glass uh, bottles I've been I, I want to change all my spice bottles to glass bottles so what I do uh, instead of buying them uh, when I buy something like a uh, coffee uh, the Nescafe coffee jar it comes with a uh, glass so once it's it's filled up I'm going to recycle that uh, also for mayonnaise the types of there are different types of mayonnaise that comes with come with glass jars so I, I have been updating uh, slowly by slowly just recycling uh, bottles so you, you, as you have seen in the video also even my uh, milk bottle is now glass and also my oil but uh, my vegetable oil bottle is glass so glass items are very nice for organization and even just uh, uh, placing different items uh, on them so that's what I've been doing and I'm going to keep on updating my kitchen uh, uh, for the organization storage until I have all all my organization containers uh, to glass so that's my uh, that's my motive at the end of it all I hope you enjoyed today's video guys I hope the organization was really nice for you guys and I hope to see what you do for your uh, for your organization some of these things you can actually buy them because uh, you can buy the uh, the metro racks uh, for organizing your utensils but if you don't have that uh, guys yeah, just choose carton cartons are everywhere every shop you, you don't even have to buy them so what you do you just uh, borrow the cartons or if you buy something you can tell uh, the, the shopkeeper or the supermarket attendant to just pack for you your items or your shopping in a carton and then go and recycle the carton it's very easy it's inexpensive and it's a very good way to do your organization especially organizing your spices and also organizing your utensils and just having more more room to accommodate different items so let me know in the comment section below if that organization video was really nice and if you want to see more of this organization ideas yeah and i'm going to get back to you with more and more videos on this channel. if you haven't joined our dear family yet guys smash that like button and smash that uh, subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and we are on the way to 100k 
family subscribers guys share my videos share my content watch my content i have so so many videos and we have so much content on instagram and facebook uh, on diys and doing this dosage of diy so if you haven't followed me there guys follow me on posing up if you can see for any business inquiries you can either dm me on my social media pages or just write an email at causing up with se at gmail.com and i'll get back to you as soon as i can cheers guys have a lovely week and see you in the next one